Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan The Organizer. So today I'm presenting a big upgrade that I'm doing to my brand new home theater. So yes, already something new. And it's the addition of an SVS PB16 Ultra subwoofer. This is their flagship subwoofer and thanks to you guys, my viewers. Well, you gave me a little tips and tricks during my last home theater video to see what kind of things we could upgrade. So I got not only one, but two. PB16 Ultras. So this is a dual sub design. Uh, it's pretty amazing. So you're going to see all the technology that's behind, of course, these subwoofers. You're going to see a bit of cool tricks as we're going to have some cutaway shots from inside the sub so you can see the internals. And also you're going to see a cool effect and see the, uh, the sub in motion. So stay tuned for all that. Of course, I'm going to give you all the details. Without further ado, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan, welcome to the show. I hope you guys are having a great day, so let's dig right into it. Today I'm presenting my two brand new SVS PB16 Ultra subwoofers. So I have been an SVS fanatic for a while now, as in 2011, I had purchased their PB13 Ultra, which was their flagship subwoofer at the time, and it lasted all this time with absolutely no issues, and I loved it. So when I moved into this bigger home theater, which is 18 feet wide by almost 35 to 40 feet deep, because it's in my basement, the room was a lot bigger, and I needed to smoothen out the frequency response, and I obviously needed more power to move more air in this big theater room with nine feet ceilings. So while well, my viewers recommended that I try a dual sub setup, so when I thought about that, well of course who else but SVS to replace them. And well today we're looking at their flagship models. This is a ported subwoofer, so as you can tell here, three big ports. By the way, don't worry guys, I'll leave all the details and of course the links in the description under the video for you guys to check the subs out if you want. But they're packed with technology technology and of course the quality of construction. So that's very important for me. This uh, well home theater has been custom made for me and has a lot of awesome equipment. By the way, you can watch my complete home theater tour by clicking the link in the description under the video as well to have all the details. But today we're focusing on the subs. So first of all, I think the most obvious is just how massive these guys are. So it weighs roughly 175 pounds. So believe me when I tell you that you need to be at least two people to move these around. As you can probably see in the B-roll shots, uh, well, the movers or the installers from Quebec Acoustique uh, had a crazy job because these are very heavy bad boys. The motor itself alone from the sub in the speaker uh, weighs about 55 pounds. So that's more than your typical subwoofer weighs, including the enclosure. So imagine guys. This is one of the biggest subs, well it's the biggest that SVS makes. So this is a 16 inch driver that you can see right here. And inside it has, I think one of the biggest in the industry, it's a eight inch edge wound voice coil. So yeah, my girlfriend's filming. I mean, she's impressed and she has no clue what I'm talking about right now. So that goes to tell you just how awesome it is. Of course, such a beast needs a lot of power. So it has a sledge amplifier that's rated for 1,500 watts of continuous power or RMS, and it can reach a peak power of 5,000 watts. So I have two of these bad boys. We're talking about almost 10,000 watts of peak power. It's a class D efficient design and fully discrete MOSFET output. So yeah, a lot of clean power and a lot of power, of course. I have these connected to uh, individual 20 amp circuits just to make sure I have enough headroom and they're on separate circuits, of course. So if possible, always make sure that you have enough headroom for all of this. We also installed some uh, isolation feet. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but we have some B-roll shots in case you need them. So this sound path system from SVS itself is a decoupling system. So basically what this is, is it isolates the woofer itself from the floor. So less energy is transferred to the floor and to the walls. So you get less vibrations and you're going to feel the bass a lot more because of that decoupling. So the energy moves through the air instead of into the walls and into the ground. Also cool on this one, you have a digital display. 
and you can control it with a smartphone app. So all the functionalities of the woofer itself, of the subwoofer, you can control through that app and it's good for Apple and Android and it's connected via Bluetooth. So it doesn't even have to be in line of sight for you to control. So whether you're controlling the output, your crossover frequencies and everything else that you need on both subs, if you have two subs or more, you can all do that through the app. So no more having to get up all the time, going in back and adjusting the knobs like we used to back in the day. So that's uh, it for the sub. It comes in two uh, finishes. So this here, I got it in black oak finish. You can also get it in a piano high gloss black finish as well, if you guys like that kind of stuff. It comes with a pretty massive grill, of course, to protect it. And you can put it into those rubber grommets. So again, it's the attention to detail. I mean, the quality of fabrication, as you guys can tell on screen right now, if we look at the cutaway section, I mean, a lot of engineering and effort has been put in to this uh, subwoofer and it's absolutely outstanding. So if we talk about dual subs for a setup, why dual subs? Where? In a room, of course, the uh, bass usually gets trapped in the corners and you wanna smoothen out the frequency response of the bass. So having dual subs helps with that so you get a smoother bass response. Of course, it's very hard to pinpoint a sub normally, but you get even less of that thing happening or that phenomenon when you have two subwoofers, so you can less pinpoint where the sound is coming from. So that essentially reduces localization and you get a better bass response from different seating positions in your room. And obviously, well, the biggest thing is more output, so you're getting a lot more power from the dual subs, so you feel the bass a lot more. And uh, yeah, so it's been absolutely outstanding. Now, SVS went ahead and did a pretty awesome trick. So first of all, let me put this grill back. So you can see, so you guys can uh, leave the grill out if you uh, don't like that style. And if you prefer to see your sub or if you wanna protect it and protect the sub, well, there you go. Easy to slide in and it has that awesome finish. The build quality guys is absolutely insane. So come in closer, have a look at the sub itself while I continue talking. So the quality, as I said, craftsmanship is outstanding. It's a company from USA and they ship pretty much anywhere around the world. Again, I'll leave the links in the description for you guys to check these out, but they're massive in size and also massive in sound. So in my system, I have a 7.2.2 Dolby Atmos setup, and these guys, well, they fit the bill perfectly because the output is extraordinary. So SVS did something awesome. They put a strobe light next to the sub while playing a movie, and you're gonna see the excursion. So that means just how far out and in the woofer itself can go. I mean, that thing, you can imagine the volume of air it displaces. It's absolutely insane, guys. So I couldn't play any known music or movie material, of course, for fear of copyright strikes on YouTube. So guys, as I mentioned before, this is not my first experience with SVS, as I had their PB13 Ultra flagship subwoofer uh, from 2011. Uh, so that was a great owner experience. It still worked absolutely fine up to this day, and of course had a great resale value. I mean, it sold in less than a day. I received like a bunch of emails when I put it online for sale. So it just shows how good these woofers are and how much value you get for the money you're spending. These can compete with subs that are worth double or triple the amount anytime. Also, great customer service. The majority of the employees who are there still work there today. I'm thinking of Ed Mullen. How are you, Ed, by the way? So he's one of the uh, chief, I think, engineers or marketing uh, gurus over at SVS. So uh, awesome guy and of course, awesome company. And uh, I have nothing but good things to say. This video is not sponsored, by the way. I had to purchase and pay for these subs, but still, I think I wanted to let you guys know just how awesome they are because it's thanks to you that I decided to upgrade because, well, you've been giving me great advice and you guys knew that with the size of this room, again, it's an 18 feet by roughly 35 to 40 feet deep room with nine feet ceilings. You guys kind of knew that I needed a dual sub setup. And for me, well, this is the choice. I went with two PB16 Ultras. So this is the ported design. Note that they also have their SB16 Ultra. So that's the sealed box design. So it's a bit smaller. Of course, it doesn't weigh as much and won't dig as low uh, for the bass frequencies, but it'll be a bit snappier if you watch uh, or if you listen to, I should say, more music than you watch movies, then that's also a good uh, selection. And note that they also have a bunch 
of less expensive subwoofers as well. Uh, SVS is a king when it comes to speakers and especially their subwoofers. They're world renowned. And again, I'll invite you to check the links in the description under the video for you guys to check these out. If you enjoyed this video, of course, show me your support, guys. Smash the thumbs up button and also consider clicking the subscribe button that's found under this video. And that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. So you'll continue to learn more about home theater, crazy electronics, and even car detailing because that's my main specialty. I've been detailing for 22 years. So go ahead and check out my videos. So in the meantime, guys, I want to remind you to keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.